our sense of being in a collectivity, of being a we, of, you know, we're all in this together, that is also at an all-time low. We're in a very, um, I would say, almost narcissistic period of our culture focused on the self. That is, polarization could not mathematically be any more extreme. Many people think that history is determined. You find the laws of history, you go with the flow. We emphatically think that's wrong. We can change, you can change things. Indeed, the only way that really serious change happens is because individual people decide they're gonna change things. We are living through a very analogous period today, and we have to look to our post-boomer generations, our youngest Americans, for the innovative solutions that transcend our ideological debates to find the solutions that are gonna push us forward. It's you that are gonna do this. Don't allow yourself to believe that there are laws of history which condemn you sometimes in the 60s to get better and sometimes in the 60s to get worse. That's not true. It was that people decided the kind of society they wanted to move toward. We've been in a mess just like the one we're in today. The history shows us that there's hope of getting out of it, but we have to start today. We have to start in places that might be less familiar to us, places of the heart, places of connection, to rebuild that social fabric and that sense of cohesion that's gonna bring us back toward we.